so I bought some uh, ginseng seeds um, from this place here, wildginsengfacts.com. Uh, the fellow's name is Fred. And I, he probably don't mind me saying his name, Fred Gates. I know because he's in business trying to sell his, these seeds and other things, roots and stuff. But he uh, sent little directions how to do it. Because you can get on the internet to do it. But anyway, I got 100 seeds. I think it's $9. Eight something. But now you can get them a little cheaper. I don't like you buy 300, but I figured I'd try 100 seeds before see if they work. But it takes a long time. I guess I should know by next year if they if they start sprouting. This is 2012, um, June. I think it's June 8th or June 7th. It's Friday. But anyhow, I'm going to try planting them today. I got a nice section of woods up there with ferns in it, and that's what they suggest. Nice cover like it is there. There's, there's a nice spot there, actually. I'm thinking it's close to my house because I'm standing on my porch right now. Uh, but they do give you directions. And with 100 C's, I'm going to try there and probably a couple other places and see what happens. But uh, anyhow, we'll see how that goes. That jagger bush there, um, it looks that's how ginseng leaves look actually. There are five leaves like that, I guess. But uh, they're rounder. But what they recommend is is that you rake. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff down here, but you rake the leaves away. Then you just poke a hole down in the depth of that soil there. I want to bury their growing. Oh. I see red now because that's ginseng. Oh, <laughs> red! I see red and I panic. But uh, that's not. I don't know what that is. Anyhow, I'm gonna set this camera down and finish planting these. Now you're not supposed to prepare it that well, but I had to do something because there's way too many rock in here, even if I. I wanted just to throw them in, they'd probably never be able to dig them out. Anyhow, it's supposed to be nine inches apart, so what I'm going to do is lay two poles, two markers, about nine inches apart, which that's about nine inches apart. And uh, then I'll just put uh, a stake on each end. Just like I say, this is close to the house, so as you can see, I can stone right in there. Even it's hard to go very deep without hitting stone. But it says only about an inch deep, about nine inches apart. That's a little deep there. Anyhow, here's what those seeds look like. This ground is damp. I mean, I don't think I have to water them at all, but I might do that just to pack the soil a little better. Um, since I did dig it up pretty good. Seeds are from, I'm, this is in Pennsylvania, and uh, seeds come from New York State. So, I'm thinking, uh, that being the case, whoop, <laughs> almost lost the seeds. Figure that being the case, they're a little further north, but that's probably colder here because we're in the mountains here. 
Appalachian Mountains. And I don't think where this guy's from is. I'm not sure. I know it's from New York, but I don't think he's in the mountains. And even if the Appalachians go up that far, I'm not sure. But anyhow, then you're supposed to take and cover the leaves back over it, which that's what I'll do. Oh. And hope for the best. I'm sure I can find a better spot than this. At least I hope so, anyway. But this is real close to me here, so I can keep a better eye on it. And hopefully that's it. I'll just leave them lay there. <clears throat> <clears throat> 